I'm just about to run out the door because I'm super late, as always, story of my life. But I wanted to show you my outfit super, super fast um, before I left because I said I would. I did change my hair just a little bit. I added like a little bit of wavy, curly, nothing, whatever. Um, I have a sweater that I got on Black Friday. It's from the J. Crew outlet and I got like a super deal on it and I rolled up the sleeves a little bit. It's super comfy, cozy because it's actually getting a little bit cold in Houston, which is a big, big moment. Down here I have my uh, Topshop Tall Lee Moto jeans that I always wear. Sorry, rerun as usual. <laughs> and they're the burgundy ones and then down here, my new boots that I pretty much want to write love songs for. And um, that's how that is. They're brand new. I got them this week. I returned those other boots that I showed you guys in my Nordstrom haul because I couldn't find anyone to tailor them to fit my weirdly skinny calf. And then the salesman at Nordstrom completely changed my life when he brought these out when I didn't even ask for them. And I had to buy them. They were... Um, embarrassingly expensive but I feel like I know I don't need to justify this to you guys but I feel like it's like my little Christmas gift to myself Christmas slash birthday slash Christmas bonus for myself I know I'm ridiculous but I'm just like so obsessed with them they're above the knee and they've got like a little tie in the back I don't know if you're really seeing that very well it's kind of dark in here but there's just like this little tie back here and they're basically flat and they're all black suede and I just want to uh sleep in them and wear them for the rest of my life. Have you ever felt like that about some shoes? Because that's just what my heart is saying and typically like I'm such a like budget shopper and stuff but this time I just I totally shocked myself honestly. I like sent a picture to my mom and I was like I almost like needed someone to like reassure me that I was not losing my mind but I don't know I'm in love with them I actually don't regret it so I hope you guys can support me in my reckless spending for just a moment. I promise I will get back to being a smart shopper very soon. Anyway, I'm totally rambling and I need to go. I'm gonna be super late to the party, story of my life. I'm probably not going to vlog there because I'm gonna know like two people there and I think that would be kind of weird. I don't know. I might vlog more tonight, but I might not. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you later tonight. I don't know. Wah. Oh, I'm so sad. I just woke up so late. Actually, I woke up early this morning and then I was like, mm, it's too early to wake up for a Sunday. And so I went back to sleep and promptly woke up at 1.30. This doesn't happen to me like I usually sleep in pretty late, but 1.30, I feel pretty guilty right now. So I feel like I need to make up for it and I need to do everything like, like super, super crazy fast. And so I don't know. My first order of business is a coffee and oatmeal and on the TV, it's on a commercial right now, but I'm watching while you were sleeping. It's a Christmas classic, am I right? All right, guys, totally not getting the start that I planned, but I'm on my second cup of coffee. It is like, uh, I don't even know what time it is because the oven is on and the timer's on and I'm just all disoriented. But I was making my second cup of coffee and I've realized that I've been betrayed by Trader Joe's. Actually, totally not betrayed. I probably could have read to find out this information, but I just discovered it and so I'm kind of appalled. Um, I am very much like a coffee addict and I'm a big fan of my Keurig. It's super easy. So easy that I do it when I'm like barely awake. Like it's the very first thing I do when I wake up and I just got this the Coffee Cup Quintet from Trader Joe's and I've been using it for probably over a week and I was just like, oh cool, four different kinds of coffee. And when I wake up in the morning, I just like grab a random one. I am not like a coffee connoisseur. I don't know what is what. I'm just like, caffeine, give it to me now. And I was actually just looking at them when I was getting my second cup of coffee. That's probably the problem. Um, and I discovered this. French roast decaf. <gasps> they snuck decaf in here and clearly I've already drank two of them. I think it's four of each. Yeah, four of each. So two days in the past week I've been on decaf and that probably explains a lot about my life. I cannot be tricked into drinking decaf. That is very disturbing to me. So man, Trader Joe's, can you just make an only caffeinated quintet? That would be very helpful and much less tricky because I'm never going to use those last two decaps 
Not ever. Getting ready to film a video. I'm making some food. Trying to get stuff done. Okay, my entire day has been like crazy and derailed and I'm still like struggling to get to a place where I can film a video. Uh, I just really have to do my hair, I guess, because these curlers are starting to hurt and I think I picked the wrong dress to wear because it's like oh, really tight on my boobs. You like this look? Love this look personally. The one I done, one I not done. Feeling like a complete human today. But yeah, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Um, it's going to be kind of like holiday slash New Year's party glam. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I never know what I'm going to call a look until I'm like about to release it and I have to decide. It's kind of like a everything's a little bit last minute with me. But I wanted to tell you a little bit, whoa, about last night. Um, I went to that barbecue and uh, it was pretty fun. I had a good time. I met a lot of new people, which is always good. And uh, ugh, so tight. Um, and then after that, I went to my other friend's house because I left at like 11.30 from the barbecue and of course, can't just go home at 11.30 on a Saturday night. I went over to my other friend's house and we hung out and we watched Black Mirror for a while and I can really only stand so much of that show. Like, I get that it's interesting and everything, but like, I can only take so much. Um, so we watched that for a while and then I came home and then, as you know, slept until 1.30 today which is ridiculous. And then today, I've been like struggling, well, it kind of always goes like this with me because filming tutorials is kind of like, I don't know if it's like, it's not that it's stressful, but it's like, I feel like there's so much prep work and like, I want it to go perfectly. And you know how like, if you're doing something, you can do it perfectly when no one's watching, but then the moment that it counts and you're trying to show someone else, it's like, it doesn't go as well. So that's always nerve wracking. And beyond that, I've had like a lot of work stuff come up today, even though it's Sunday. And then I had like a really long phone call with my parents and then another really long phone call with one of my friends and neither were particularly happy conversations. So that's kind of lame, but the end is near. I will get this video done. Because of my job, I basically have to work through the holidays but I'm not going to be going into the office, which is nice. And uh, I feel like I'll have more time to like edit and upload. So hopefully I'll be uploading more videos coming up. And this dress is like unacceptable. Oh yeah, clearly didn't get to go do any Christmas shopping. So I really, I'm really, really waiting till the last minute. I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this to film. Cause like, <laughs> I can't break. Ooh la la, big hair. Big hair and squashed boobs. In my mind, things get stressful. And then once I'm done, I'm like, well, obviously I feel relieved because the stress is gone, but I start to see that I didn't even need to be stressed about this. I mean, I've been on YouTube for four years. I didn't even make a big deal about that because I'm ridiculous and I move at a ridiculous pace and I don't like see these little things but like someone on twitter told me they were like you've been on twitter for four years i was like oh whoa that means it's like all my leanne says everything fourth birthday because i like started it all at the same time so yeah it's been four years and i just i've done a lot of tutorials i need to just like relax a bit but hmm. I don't know. I'm just such a confusing person. Like, you know how you get those questions that are like, describe yourself in three words. I'm just like at a complete loss at moments. Like, you know, you look at like your Instagram bio or something and I'm like, I don't know what to write. You know, I don't know how to summarize myself. I don't like to define things and then have someone count on that. And then uh, when you're something more than that, it's, they're like, what? That's not what I expected. I thought you were like, you know, just this blonde haired goofy girl. I didn't know there was this other stuff to you. Cause I mean, I guess, I don't know. I have a fear of being boxed in. Cause I feel like I'm everything. Yes, I'm ridiculous. And whenever I was like trying to think of answers of this three word explain yourself question, I was like, I am everything. But you know, I was coming up with like a lot of like really ridiculous, unworkable answers. Anyone else like that? I don't, I'm just like incapable of describing myself. It's probably an issue. 
probably having an identity crisis. Pay no attention to me. Anyway, time is a wasting. I gotta go do this. I was listening to the uh, Joe Rogan podcast with Phil DeFranco and I was enjoying it, but I shall enjoy it no more. I have to go film my own YouTube video. All right, so I just finished filming a makeup tutorial and it took me kind of forever. I try my best and it kind of takes a long time. I'm just about to head out to hit up a store. I am going to try to do a little bit of Christmas shopping, but I'm not gonna take you with me because I actually need to start exporting these clips so I can make the video and hopefully put it out tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope you guys are all having a really happy holiday season and I hope this week treats you all really really well. I'm super excited and I hope you are too. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to do more weekend vlogs, of course. Always unsure. That's just how it is. Um, but if you like it, give this video a thumbs up if you want me to keep going. Because of course any little bit of encouragement helps a lot. Well, I basically showed you the dress earlier. I got it last year at Target. It's leopard print, bell sleeves, kind of short but not too short, and it's got some little lace detail over here. And of course, wearing it with my boots of life. The boots that give me life, that I love them so much. I just wanna kick, karate kick, oof. Karate kick, ooh, was that obscene? I'm sorry. Tremendously sorry if that got obscene. Um, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you guys had a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.